this call, what we typically do is run through, uh, you know, some pairs, applying our smart money concepts, look for any opportunities. Um, I kind of want to break this up into two parts. So the first part, I want to, I, I was working on something recently and I had a couple of people reach out to me today and talk to me about this. And it's probably one of the biggest questions I get on almost a daily basis. And then second, it is probably one of the biggest misconceptions about trading. So I want to just clear some things up for people because uh, we have a lot of new members in the group. We have a lot of new members in the Discord. Um, and it's just something I get hammered with constantly. So I, I think it's important whether you've been with me for years, like I know some of you have, or whether you're brand spanking new and it's the first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, there are just some really good things that you need to understand. And like I said, if you've been with me for a while, this can be a really good refresher and um, can recalibrate your, your focus and your energy and what you need to be preparing for for 2022 because fourth quarter, it is going fast. It's a matter of time before we come into 2022 and you do not wanna be scrambling at the beginning of the year, setting your goals and getting ready for the new year, whatever that is, building businesses, you know, buying real estate, working on education, working on your trading, whatever the heck that might be for you, you wanna get that ready now, right? You wanna be prepared, you wanna have that vision, your goals, structured and organized and just have a clear plan of attack and start preparing for 2022. So what I'm going to talk about briefly, so this isn't going to be, you know, a deep training on this. We're going to get to the charts. I, I understand that's why the majority of you are on this call to see that stuff, but you know, this stuff is more important and you're going to see why in just a few minutes. Okay. Sound good. Sound good. Let me just take a quick sip of my, uh, and if anybody here can help me with Facebook, uh, when I'm on these live streams, I watch this on my phone too, so I can keep up with the chat and the questions. The chat always fades away and I can never, it's doing it right now and I can never get it to stay showing the chat and the things coming up, or it'll just say somebody's entering a thousand times and I have to like press it to bring it back. Is there anything I can do about that? Does anybody know if, if, if you know how to fix that to be much appreciated, you can shoot me a message or just let me know in the chat here. Guy tuning in a little bit late, Johnny, what's going on, man, Tim. Thank you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> okay. So let's get into this. And again, I, I, I will keep this part brief, but understand that what I'm going to talk to you right now is probably going to be one of the biggest things. If you're taking trading seriously, who here takes trading seriously? Like who really wants to do something with trading, whether that is quit your job, whether that's, you know, the, the main source of revenue to fuel other investments, or whether that's just something that you want to do full time. If you're taking it serious, drop a me in the chat. Because trading is a beautiful thing. Trading is active income. Don't get me wrong, right? It's not something that, you know, if, if you're not putting in the hours and if you're not physically, right, you're not going to make money. But trading is a, a beautiful thing in, in two regards. One, it, it can just open up so many doors for you. Two, it can fuel so many investments, primarily passive income investments, whatever those are for you, right? And then three, it's a skill that, you know, you can always fall back on right? I mean, it's something like once you learn something and it's in your head, right? You can't have that taken away from you, right? So um, I see a lot of me's dropping in the chat. I, I mean, trust me, trading is amazing. I mean, it's, it's changed my life. I mean, I'm extremely blessed. It's opened up a lot of doors for me um, and, and continues to do so, but you have to have certain things in order. And if you're saying me in the chat right now, how you do certain things and your approach and your mindset to a couple of things is going to have a dramatic impact on the end result. So like when you look at trading, right, you start off with, I mean, let me, let me share my screen real quick. Cause I, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a visual here. Let me, let me bring up the whiteboard real quick. 
Let me bring this up really, really quickly so I can paint a very clear picture for you because what I'm going to talk to you about right now is just, it's just so important. Like you just have to, you just have to, everybody can see the whiteboard. You should be able to. Okay. So when you come into trading, right, you have... This is where you're starting, right? And this is your current situation. Whatever your current situation is in your life, right? This is where you are now. And the goal, if you're coming into trading and if you're trying to do this full time, if you're trying to quit your job, if you, whatever you're trying to do, right? Everybody has different goals, a, a different dream and different vision. Whatever that is for you, that's your desired situation, right? This is where you want to go. There you go. Got the D down there. This is where you want to go, but you're obviously not there yet. So you're trying to go from your current situation to your desired situation. Not bad there, right? Not bad with the, the doodling. Okay, so... You have your current situation, you have your desired situation. Whatever your desired situation is, first and foremost, that needs to be extremely defined. You have to have a very clear picture of what that is. You need to see it, feel it, think it, experience it, and, and put yourself mentally there, right? But the biggest thing is, right, how to get there, right? How to get from where you are now to where you want to go. And what we call this in between is the gap, okay? Now, the gap is what we're going to talk about very briefly, because the gap is where the biggest misconceptions are. The gap is where the majority of the questions come in. The, the gap is um, the most important thing here, right? Most traders, right? And tell me if this is you, if you relate to this. Most traders, whether it's something that you believe now or whether you, you know, it, it was, you know, your previous belief until it was changed until you had your perspective changed. Most people, when they come into trading, think if you're going to go from point A in your current situation to point B, your desired situation, this entails learning a strategy. You're practicing this strategy on demo. And then once you're happy with those results and you're starting to see you know, positive outcomes and you're building a little bit of confidence and then from there, you transition into a live account. And then when you're on that live account, right, that's where you look at your nice little compounding sheet and you start compounding your account and you look what you can make in five years if you only make 5% a week or whatever the heck it is, right? And, and, and you're, you're smooth sailing, right? Who here, that's what, that's what you think getting from current situation to desired situation, that's the gap. Like that's how you have successful trading. Who here? That's, that's your belief. That's what you were taught. That's what you think this is. If that's you, drop a seven in the chat. Because I was this. This was me. I'm describing myself, right? And, and I think this is the story for most people, right? Like, that's what you think you have to figure out is, you know, you're finding a strategy. And, and you know, if you don't like this one, you bounce to the next one and, and you're trying to find that holy grail indicator combination or, or, you know, whatever it might be, right? And then once you get that down and you see good results, it's, it's rainbows and candy and butterfly and smooth sailing to the promised land, right? From there, it's up, up, up. I'm just going to compound and I'm going to make a million dollars, right? This is, this is the biggest misconception in trading. This is why... Most people, if this is what you believe or this is what you thought trading was, if this is thought how you thought you were going to get to your desired situation, right? This is why most people never get there. This is why most people never get from C to D, from point A to B. And there is a very, very, very specific roadmap. I recently shared, and, and some of you might not know what I'm talking about. This was shared in the, in the Discord. I recently shared a roadmap. It was a flow chart and it showed you, you know, it, it was kind of a roadmap for navigating, you know, the, the collection of data, the back testing, um, the, the correlating approach, 
in regards to the strategy and finding your best trading style and, and your unique edge, right? This is what I showed there, right? That's also not the gap for this, right? That is the gap between a stage one and a stage three trader or stage three slash stage four trader. The ground floor and then the profitable trader. That's all in regards to the strategy. Does that make sense? And, and again, that, that roadmap I'm referring to you, some of you might not know what I'm talking about, and that's perfectly fine. It's just that's just a roadmap in terms of the strategy and back testing and finding out what works for you, your unique edge, your best trading style. That is the gap between stage one and stage three slash stage four traders, right? That's not the gap between the current situation and your desired situation. That's only a piece of it. And, and that's probably 20 to 25% of the big picture. And most traders think that is the big picture. That is the big picture. I thought AI software <laughs> would eliminate the gap. That's funny. Think of it kind of like this, right? In, 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 a, in a video I recently recorded and, and we just uploaded to the group, I, I used an example of a race car driver and a race car, right? You have, you know, I, I think I used, um, I, I think I used Kyle Larson, but I mean, it really doesn't matter, right? I mean, you, you got Dale and, and, and you got, you know, all these guys who are, are, you know, Jeff Gordon and whoever, it really doesn't matter, right? Very skilled drivers and they all have their strategies and and, and things and techniques and, and things that they do in those race cars right so like the race car driver is the hungry trader right that's part of it and then you have the race car the vehicle and the vehicle right and, and i use the analogy of like that's putting you know a jeff gordon or a dale or a Kyle Larson into a shitbox beater, right? Knowing that they're very skilled drivers and then putting them in those vehicles and expecting them to perform and win the Indy 500. It just won't happen, right? It, like you have to understand that. And, and the vehicle we're talking about, um, you know, this is the structuring of everything. This is the processes. This is, you know, that's a whole different aspect of it. That is the other 75%, the missing 75%. In that 75%, that's where most people just either one, they're just not, you know, they're just not familiar with it or they're just missing big pieces of it. I'm just trying to stay up with the chat. So like, you know, again, it, it, you know, the vehicle, it's it's the mindset, it, it's the processes, it's the structuring, right? It, it's all of that stuff and building a foundation. So I think it's important really quickly um, to share the big picture roadmap because I'm asked about this almost on a daily basis. Danny, right? There are countless Forex and trading groups out there. Just like I'm sure a lot of you in here, you're probably in more than one Forex trading group and that's perfectly fine, right? And they asked me, Danny, there are countless Forex groups out there. There's countless Forex educators and there's countless, um, you know, courses out there, right? What makes you guys different? And besides the fact like, you know, learning from a trader who one, got to the desired situation from trading and scaling from almost nothing, to now a multi seven figure trading business, right? It's because we focus on the, the 75%, not the 25%, right? That's the big picture of it, right? And, and just for some perspective here, EFXU is broken down into eight weeks. Within those eight weeks, we have multiple training modules. Two out of the eight weeks talk about strategy and what's done on the chart, just to give you some perspective right? That is the difference between building, um, building something on a rock solid foundation or on a foundation made of sand, which if, you know, you do that, you know what the end result is going to be. It's going to, it's going to end up not lasting. It's going to end up falling apart and crashing to pieces, right? And we've helped countless traders become well-funded full-time traders 
right? And help them get to their desired situation, whatever their desired situation looks like to them, right? We've helped countless people do it, focusing on the right things. And, and to get there, right? And I'm just trying to paint a clear picture here. We're talking about two different roadmaps, two different roadmaps, just like there's two different mindsets to this, right? And, and we have it broken down into four main categories. Everybody following me up to date right now, like everything making sense to this point. And, and I'm going to go over these four steps with you, right? I'm going to show you how you're going to get from current situation to your desired situation. And then without wasting too much more time, we're going to get into the charts. But like, this is important. You have to understand that. Like, this is important. If you don't have these things, if you don't have these pillars and this rock solid foundation, right? What do you expect to do with your trading? If you, if you think just learning a strategy is going to make you uh, a full-time trader and make you tons of money and see consistent results and, and whatever your desired situation is, right? Your desired outcome. Like if you think that's what's going to get you there, I, I'm, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not going to take you there. It's not going to take you there. So like the four categories, right? I mean, I, I guess they're not really steps. They're, they're, they're four categories, right? So the first category, right? To get you from your current situation to your desired situation. If you're somebody that dropped the me in the chat and you're taking this serious and you are willing to do whatever is necessary to make this work, you need to focus on what I'm about to tell you. First, this first category, this is setting up structuring and treating your trading like a business and everything that entails. Well, Danny, what the heck does that mean? How do you set up and treat trading like a business? Well, great question. We're talking about the systems. We're talking about the processes. We're talking about the vision. We're talking about a business plan, not a trading plan, a business plan, everything broken down. If you know where you want to go, but you don't know how you're going to get there. Like if you tell Siri, Hey, I want to get to my current situation or, you know, uh, I want to get to Boston. Okay. Well go 3000 miles North. It's not 3000 miles, but you guys get what I'm saying right? Or you can have a step-by-step -step guide telling you each road to take, very detailed. And then you can plan out where I'm going to stop and take breaks and, and, and pull off on the road, right? If you don't have a clear vision and map and a plan to get to your point A to point B, how do you know where you're going to go? How do you know what you're going to do? So you have to have that set up. And this is also talking about LLCs, Distribution of profits. How are you going to pay yourself? The responsibilities around taxes. Are you prepared for that? Do you know what it looks like where you're from? We're talking about business bank accounts, all of that stuff. That is setting up and treating this like a business. If you set this up like a business, you're going to get paid like a business. If you set this up and treat this like a hobby, guess what? You're going to get paid like a hobby. And I don't know too many hobbies that pay out well. Okay, so the next stage and category in which we kind of already touched on a little bit, this is the strategy, right? Strategy is a part of this, but it's a, it's a, a portion of it. We're talking 20 to 25% in the big picture here. And just from a, a high level, a high level view when we're talking about strategy, we're talking about just understanding market structure, understanding what is manipulation, where it occurs, and how you take advantage of it. We're talking about targets. We're talking about entries. We're talking about management. We're talking about the collection of data. We're talking about finding your best trading style. We're talking about a SWOT analysis. We're recording your market bio feedback, right? There's a lot there, right? But that's only 20 to 25% of it. Then you have the third category, right? And, and this one is important. The third category is priming your mindset for success. And you have two separate categories here. This is important. You have your, your seven figure mindset, like your success, your winning mindset. This is where you get the relentless from. This is where you get the no give up mentality. This is where you get busy and the discipline, okay? And then you have your trader's mindset. Two separate things, two very different things. Both need to be worked out on consistently or this doesn't work. 
So you have your winning seven figure business success mindset, and then you have your trader's mindset. And, and you know, when we're talking about a trader's mindset, we're talking about thinking in probabilities, or I call it the, the casino owner mentality. We're talking about discipline. We're talking about dealing with loss and dealing with losing streaks. We're talking about dealing and managing with emotions, right? You're never going to eliminate emotions. If anybody tells you all you have to do in trading is eliminate your emotions, it's impossible. And they don't know what they're talking about. But you do need to understand what sparks certain emotions. Primarily, we're talking about different fears and different and greed. These are the two biggest killers in trading. You have to understand what sparks those emotions, like what's the root of it, what, what is it, you know, forcing you into in terms of actions, what is it, is it causing impulsive, you know, bad decisions, emotional decisions, to close too early, to move stop loss break even too early, take partials when you shouldn't, exit when you shouldn't, whatever it might be, these are the two killers in trading, you have to work on these. So you need to have a complete mindset revamp, right? So these, you have to have a complete mindset revamp so that these things aren't an issue. They're, they're not a factor while you're trading, okay? You have to be able to, uh, this is where the market bar feedback comes into play. And this is the only way that you're gonna be able to have clear, level-headed, calm, confident, logical decision-making instead of, impulsive, emotional decision-making. Everybody following. Then, finally, right? This is good stuff, mindset, mindset, mindset. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's an ongoing thing. You always have to be working on, on, on self-development and your mindset, absolutely. So afterwards, right? After acquiring your mindset, the last category, which is the monetizing and scaling. This is your funding, how are you gonna acquire it, when you're gonna acquire it, how you're gonna acquire it. This is the managing of those funds. This is how and when and why you're paying yourself and how much, and this is scaling and how you're going to do that, when you're going to do that, why you're going to do that. Most traders don't even know about these categories. Or if they do, they don't know all the little things inside of these categories. Some might be aware of who here, before I even go into another step further, who here, here, one, is aware of all these categories. Or let me do this. Who here isn't aware of all of these categories and everything that it entails within these categories? If that's you, drop an eight in the chat. And it's perfectly okay. Most people don't. That's why you're here. That's why you're here to learn from somebody that not only has done this himself, but has helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people do this. That's why we're here. To learn together, to grow together, to transform together. So it's okay. love the distinction between the winning mindset and the trader's mindset. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know what I don't know. Absolutely. And, and that goes for everybody. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's literally what I call stage one, like ground floor, right? You don't know what you don't know yet. That's, that's what I refer to it all the time. But then we can learn it, right? That, that's, you know, we, this can all be learned. This is, this is what EFX is. Like most traders, right, don't know, well, most of them don't know about these categories or they might know about these categories or they don't know the subcategories within these four main categories or, or pillars, right? And then it's how to do it and then the right approach for these different things, right? Or some might be, like I said, aware of some of them. They might have a couple. They might have one or two of the categories, but be, might be at like 50%, right? Rarely, rarely do you see, it's usually nine and a half times out of 10 when I talk to someone 
who is struggling to get to their desired situation is because they do not have all of these categories at 100%, meaning that they don't know all of the categories and what it entails and all the things underneath it that I just briefly talked about or how to do those things with the right mindset, with the right approach, how to test these things, the case studies, the variations of it, and let alone, especially without the guidance or the accountability. And what I just briefly outlined here, this is the roadmap to get you from starting point here, your current situation, to wherever you want to go with trading, whatever that looks like for you, your desired situation here. From point A to point B, this gap to go from here to here, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. That is the roadmap. And I mean, of course, I can get more detailed and give you a flow chart, kind of like what I did with the, um, with the trading stuff that I, you guys know what I'm talking about. I showed the trading uh, and, and, I can, and I can quickly bring that up just to kind of show you guys the details that are involved here. Give me a second. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up briefly. And, and I'll leave, you know, what? I, this, I probably shouldn't even be doing this, but I'm going to let you guys have this and take a snapshot of this. Because you know what? It's that time of year, right? Giving time of year. One second. <clears throat> okay. This, like I said, this is the roadmap that I, I talked about. This is regarding the, stre the strategy and the back testing and the collection of data with the right approach. And, and it's not going to make sense to a lot of you, but I'm just showing you that it's a very detailed roadmap. And it's the same thing. And again, this isn't to get you from your current situation to your desired situation. This is just for the trading aspect of it, the trading category. We just outlined the big roadmap from your current situation to your desired situation. And that's a whole other flow chart. That's a whole other roadmap with GPS coordinates, step by step. But this shows you, and I'll just show you, you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's your roadmap. This is your roadmap to take you from starting here and get you to trading nirvana. Trading nirvana, that's what I call your desired situation, right? The, the outcome, where you wanna go, your goals, your vision, your dreams, whatever it is that you wanna accomplish with trading, that's how you get here and you go through this process. A lot of people aren't gonna even understand this and, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you saw it before and you took a snapshot, by all means, like, that's why I'm showing it to you. But Right. I mean, so that, that's that's the roadmap for that. But I'm just kind of showing you the detail to it, the process to it. Right. This isn't just a bunch of fluff here. We're talking about a very specific roadmap with a very specific approach based on each stage. You can see it right here. And this also very much applies to getting from your roadmap from point A to point B, your current situation, your desired situation. That's what I outlined today. So, again, like. It's not just a strategy. If you think you're just going to learn a strategy and be a successful trader, we all be freaking millionaires. Nobody would be in this group and I, EFX would be out of business straight up. So it, it's just not that. Let me get a sip of my drink real quick. Like that's a document straight out of EFXU right there. That's why I was a little hesitant, but it really doesn't explain it. There's trainings that explain that, but I'm just kind of showing you the level of planning that you need to have. Like this, this, what I just showed you, that's setting up and treating trading like a business. All right. Same thing like with EFX as a business. We have this set up like a business where trademark, LLC, business bank accounts, multiple business bank accounts, advisors, a marketing team, a social media team, uh, trading advisors team, setters, closers, you name it, everything. Right? It's all set up and structured. If we didn't have it set up like that, it wouldn't be a successful company. Right? And it's the same approach from trading or starting a business. Right? That's, there's a direct correlation there. I hope you see that. Thank you, Danny Reardon, for that. Absolutely. No problem. So I know that took a little bit. Of, excuse me. I know that took a little bit of time. And, and I do understand most people are coming on here 
you know, to watch me mark up charts and, and, and again, look for that next, you know, op potential opportunity. But again, it, it, it's all mindset, right? Like, what is that going to do for you, right? Like, again, that's part of it. And, and I understand most people are here for that. But, you know, sometimes when we get sidetracked and, and sometimes before I get on these calls, like something I'm working on, it's just kind of like in my head and it's just like primed for it. And I, and I just feel like it's important. And, and literally today, while I'm trading with Luke, I got two messages from people who are recently joined this group and, and asked me that literally like wrote me paragraphs saying, you know, uh, I mean, and, and I'm not even making this stuff up. Like I, I get these questions constantly, literally constantly, right? Literally this morning. Thanks Danny. First, many education say similar things to you guys regarding marketing, et cetera, when selling a Forex course or program. I have failed Forex multiple times. What makes you guys different? Is that okay to ask? I can honestly say, man, I have been scammed in so many cases, right? And, and, uh, and that's another one. A lot of people think like, you know, there's a lot, there are a lot of scams out there. Anything that regards to making a lot of money on, on trading or excuse me, online and, it, and it's something that can be lucrative, crypto, NFTs, whatever, there's, there's scammers in everything, everything, right? So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's important to always do your own due diligence and, and whatnot, but it's just one of those things that like I get asked constantly and I got no, I have no nothing against people asking. I mean, that's part of the due diligence, but you know, that's it, right? That, that's, that's what, that's what I responded to them, right? I mean, it, it's, you know, most people, and maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I haven't been into, and I would love for you guys to correct me if I'm wrong. I, I honestly haven't been in, in like a Forex group. And even if I'm, I'm still in some from, you know, the early days, like I, I don't look at them. I, I, I honestly don't even have time to like go through social media, but, and, and if I'm wrong, I would love to know, but majority of things when I was in groups or watching YouTube videos or, you know, whatever it might be, it's all strategy based. It's all like multiple different strategies where the primary thing being taught was a strategy. Like we could pull up a course right now and see what it, it, it has in it. And, and the majority of it is strategy. And of course, like you'll have a couple of things like here's risk management. You got to make sure you use that one, 2% or whatever it might be, right? The majority of it's strategy. Is it still that way? Is it still that way today? I mean, you guys tell me. You guys are probably, I mean, if you're in this group, you're probably in, this, in the search for finding that thing that can help you, right? So I'm sure you're familiar with this and many other courses or educational programs or whatever it might be, right? I mean, I, I would just love to know. Are the majority of them just teaching strategy? And if the answer is yes, that's, I mean, that plays a big, that, that it just plays such a big role in why people aren't getting to where they wanna go. And then what this leads you to, this is like a, a big thing that a lot of people get trapped up into. What this leads people into when they think that's how to get from point A to point B, it's like almost like a, a combination of like a shiny object syndrome because if one thing's not working, you wanna jump to the next because you see a lot of people having success with it, but it makes you jump to the shiny thing, the next shiny thing, right? To get it and then realize it's not as shiny as you thought it was but it also kind of tangles in with like um, that missing market information. Like there's missing knowledge that you need to acquire somewhere, whether it's something, little pieces you're picking up from different strategies. And if you keep doing it long enough, you might run into like an indicator or a combination that just totally jive with you. And it just makes all the difference in your results. Like that's what happens. And I can, I can assure you this, 9.9 9 times out of 10, it's not missing market, market knowledge or, or strategy knowledge. It's you. It's you, right? It, it, it's usually the mindset. It's usually a big part of that is the mindset. Um, you know, a lot of people are kind of looking for an easy way. And that's, that's an easy way, right? Just thinking it's a strategy-based thing that's going to get you there. And I hope that makes sense. And I mean, it, you know, th that was me to a T. That was me to a T. And like, this was just on my mind because I was working on stuff like this today. And, and, I, and I felt it was very important to share on this live 
knowing that a lot of people in this group are going to watch it because this is the stuff like like if you think like you're missing something you most likely are but it's not market knowledge it's the other 75 percent and i hope that gave you clarity on you know the roadmap to get there to get to where you want to go i hope that gives you a little bit clarity and and maybe motivation and confidence that one like you might be in the right place and then two like you know i knew that there was more but i just didn't know what it was well you, you know it now you know it now and that should be exciting that should be exciting because i i i can and this is on my daughter's life i don't like to like blow smoke up people's ass when i when i initially found out about like things like a market bio feedback and, and like running a SWOT analysis, like things I've never heard about before in my entire life, or like certain like ways that you should record information and, and certain things for back testing and different stages that traders all go through and all these different things. I was like, I, I was excited, but I was frustrated at the same time being like, how am I in a company that has like 20, 30, 40, like supposed big time educators and this is the first time me hearing about this. Like, how, how do I not know about this? How is nobody talking about this? So I was like frustrated in that regards, but I was also excited because I was like, well, if nobody is talking about this and the majority of people are just getting smoked and losing money, like, you know, it, it, it sounds like this is what I need to get plugged into. And, and the people that were telling me these things, the market about feedback and just, you know, all those things, right? These are, that, that's coming from big time traders who like, I used to look up to, who I would reach out to. I would just message them. Like some of you message me out of the blue and say, hey, my name's so-and-so. Like, you know, your story's inspiring and, and I would love to just learn from you. Like, that's what I used to do. And, and I ended up getting pretty close with an eight figure trader and a seven figure trader. And, and my first mentor was like a, he still is a, a pretty decent sized trader himself. And, and I, I was able to get into that stuff. But like, that's, that's kind of like where my mindset on that, where I was like super frustrated, but I was like super happy too, because I was that guy that I was like strategy to strategy. And then I'd see somebody in Facebook post like, oh, we just smashed a thousand pips on US 30 with this new crazy indice strategy. And, and I just halted everything in its tracks on what I'm learning and, and practicing right now, because I didn't see those results. And I would hop over to that. And then you see gold cup and everybody smashing, you jump over to gold cup right? And you go to the next thing and then the next thing, right? And I knew I was missing something. I just didn't know what it was. I thought it was something with the strategy or something on the charts that I didn't understand yet. I was missing something or I didn't get the structure or whatever it might be, but I knew it was something. And then I was able to figure out what that something was. And it was not the strategy. It was everything else in the equation. And that's everything that we just talked about. So that, that should bring some excitement to you. And, and two, that the problem isn't like necessarily you, right? Like it's, you know, most people just aren't teaching you the right stuff. Amen, Danny. I have done the exact thing. I think that's for everybody. You know what I mean? I think that's the route for most people, you know? And, and unfortunately, like in this business, when it comes to trading, um, you know, th there's a lot of landmines and, and things like you have to avoid to get to, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of navigating that path until like you do find something that, you know, it, it is duplicatable and, and has a proven system with, you know, like with, with real people, right? I mean, real people that are honest who are actually doing what they're talking about. And not just trying to sell you on a network marketing gig, you know, painting a picture, which is the majority of trading, unfortunately, unless they have all ulterior motives. Yeah, for sure. I get distracted easy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that's very common stuff, but I mean, there's solutions for that if you do the work on it. There, there's patience, discipline, right? Focus, all that, being distracted. I mean, that's that's stuff that everybody goes through. I mean, it, but it's 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 figuring out the right practices and, and approaches to those things that so you can make the adjustments. Um, you know, like all that stuff is temporary. Love our team. Danny always tells the truth. What 
always tells the truth to what it takes. I feel that I've been battling myself on the angle. What angle do I approach? Yeah. And I mean, like, I mean, th there's plenty of strategies like that are working. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like one thing, but like a lot of them are BS. I will say that. Um, and that, and that's coming from somebody that's like, you name it, I've probably tried it. And I've had some success with some, but the thing with a lot of retail based strategies, which is the bulk, like if you're looking to learn, like if somebody new came into trading, like if I brought my girlfriend up here and I said, listen, like you come in, like she's aware of like lingo and stuff. But I said, if you're new to trading and, and you had to look like, you know, find a strategy, go online and find a strategy and, and do some research and, and try to find one that, you know, you think would be a good fit based on testimonials and whatnot. I guarantee you it would be a retail based strategy. And the thing with retail based strategies a lot of them are one, hard to duplicate, and then two, they're extremely hard to scale. Um, a lot of them, you can only usually really make good money. You know, a lot of them, like, you know, Luke has, has a friend and he was, you know, new to trading the other day and he was like doing signals. And, you know, Luke just goes, hey, send us a couple of the trades, not to take them, but like we were just curious at like what kind of trades they were sending his buddies. And a lot of them were on gold and they were one to one risk to reward with 185 pip stop losses and 185 pip targets. And it's like, that, that's not how you're going to grow an account. It's just like that. There's just so much in between there for so little. It, it's just, it's extremely hard to do. It's a, and it's a very flawed retail or very flawed logic as well. <clears throat> But a lot of it, it's not the strategy. A lot of it's not the strategy. I can't even, it's 12.50, holy smokes. So we might not even get to trading. We might just have to hold off on Thursday for that. I did not have plans to have this go as long as it did. But, um, you know, but again, like if you're like, if you're in here, right? And, and I understand that you're probably on this call to watch me mark up charts and, and learn the strategy and whatnot. Sometimes like this is the stuff that you need to hear, right? It, it's it's the stuff that's a lot of the stuff that gets you from point A to point B, that desired situation is the unseen side of trading, meaning it's not the stuff on the chart. So this stuff is 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 probably 10, not probably, it is more important. It is more important. So, um, you know, sometimes these calls are, are, are more needed than me jumping on the charts. We have stuff for the charts. We, we talk about charts and markups and we have, I have hundreds and hundreds of hours of trainings on, on chart related stuff. Like this is what you need to hear. And, and, and that's also the, a sign of a good mentor. And one of the things that I looked for early on, and this was told to me by my mentors. And they told me that when you go find somebody, and it's somebody that you want, somebody who's further ahead. It doesn't matter what it is. Like we have, we still hire mentors for business related stuff, like growing and scaling businesses and whatnot. We hire people that are above us where we want to go, right? People that can help us get to the next level, right? But what he told me, and this is important, he told me, make sure you find somebody that gives you what you need and not, what's you, not what you want. If you find somebody that gives you what you want versus what you need, they're not your mentor. They're not your mentor and they shouldn't be your coach. And that's a fact. Because I can tell you everything our mentors give us is pain in the ass stuff that we don't want to do. I can, <laughs> I can assure you that. I can assure you that. And this stuff here that I talked about today, I can, I can assure you, it might not be what you want or wanted to see on today's call, but it's what you needed. It's what you need. And it's going to get you to where you want to go. I need the substance, not the sauce. I mean, I would, I would arguably is the sauce, but that, that's, that's the sauce in my opinion. Checking in late, Mark from New Hampshire. What's up, Mark? This is recorded. So as soon as we hit stop on this, it, it's available in the group. Just hired a consultant to help my other business to get to the next level. And the first thing they did is the SWOT analysis. Yeah, I mean, like, that's where that comes from. Like, big time companies run that. We, ha we have a company that does that for us on a weekly basis. A weekly basis. 
And then I do it on my trading on a monthly basis. And it, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's one of the most powerful things. It, it's just a very common business practice. And if, if nobody doesn't know what a SWOT analysis is, it's, it's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And it's a technique that businesses use to extract those things. And then they use converting or matching strategies to whether, you know, take an opportunity to make it a, a strength or maybe convert a weakness to a strength or eliminate a weakness and, and, and sharpen a strength or whatever it is. It's a process that's done to different aspects of a business, but it can very much be um, applied to a person um, or, you know, uh, trading, whatever it might be. So like that's, that's something that is heavily involved in trading and, and we do it here. EFX, that's a big part of it. it it's that roadmap, right? That, that was, if you saw on the bottom, if you took a snapshot, that's part of it. Learn SWAT and MBA program. Yeah, it's really good. And if you're in EFXU, I mean, we have a lot of good stuff on that. Week six is probably, week six is everything that we're talking about here. Well, a big part of it, big part of it, big part of it. Crave the results so intensely that the work is irrelevant. Tim Grover, awesome quote by Tim. I mean, these books, and if you guys want some of the books, these aren't trading related mindset. But these are going to get you there. This is going to, because again, you need a trading mindset for that 20%, that one or 20 to 25%, that one of the four pillars. But to get you through all four pillars from current situation to your desired situation, this is the type of mindset stuff that you need right here. And this is the Tim Grover stuff that he just quoted, relentless and winning or Winning, winning, it's, it's opposite. Winning, <laughs> relentless. From good to great to unstoppable and then winning mindset. This is the guy that was the mindset and trainer slash coach for Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, you know, big time names, people who are legends, greats. I would highly recommend those books. You can get them off Amazon now. Have them at your house tomorrow for like 10 bucks. Or yeah, they're game changers. Absolutely. Mia, Mia put me onto this one. I didn't even know this one existed. And this book is freaking awesome. I haven't even gone through the whole thing yet because I've been so busy. But what I have read, and, and it takes me longer too because I highlight everything like a sicko like this. And then I take notes on everything. Because if I just read right through it, I don't retain it. So I make sure like, I write stuff down, take notes. But that's a game changer book. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you referred that book to me. Cleaners, absolutely. That's, that's, that's what you got to strive for to be a cleaner. Because, man, it's just a mindset. Like I can't even tell you how many times I hear people will message me. I, 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 I had some recently. People in EFXU, people not in the community, people in EFX, I hear it all the time. It's people who have something happen or they don't have the right mindset for that roadmap flowchart I showed you. And they don't have the right mindset for that. And, and they validate everything based off winning or losing trades or um, the progress that they're making, right? I mean, it's, it's people just get like, the biggest thing that gets in people's way is usually like, what's in between your eyes or between your ears, like the, your, the way that you're thinking. So it's like such a big component in, in having like reading books like this. And, and I got a whole bookshelf of, of really good stuff that I've personally read that's been instrumental in, in my personal journey. But these two are frigging at the top. These two are at the top, but it, it's just a major thing. Like, and, and I never did that stuff. I never did, you know, Somebody dropped in the FTME group the other day. He said, um, what were the biggest mistakes or things that you did wrong or backwards or whatever it was, however he worded that um, when you first started trading? And it's all of this, right? Like I, I wasn't trading demo. I, I wasn't working on my mindset. If you told me I had to work on mindset development for a trader's mindset and, and a success and winning mindset, like I, I didn't know what that was. I didn't work on that, right? Again, a lot of people think it's just strategy. They don't recognize that 
the mindset, right? It's a certain mindset, like just like the mindset I had to go from, you know, zero to 25 K, right? That wasn't the same mindset that was going to take me from hundred K to 7 million or 20 million or whatever it might be in business and trading or whatever. Right. So it's, it's a constant, it's a constant transformation. But it, it's, it's some of the biggest pieces is having your mindset on point because the biggest thing too that's not talked about when you look at your current situation, your desired situation and, and the gap there to get there from point A to point B, you're talking about a shit ton of obstacles, a, a ton of people that are doubting everything that you're friggin' doing, people that are telling you you shouldn't or can't be doing it, people telling you that it can't be done, period, and that you're, you're most likely wasting your time money and energy then you're talking about all the trials and challenges and obstacles and bullshit that you have to deal with right if you're not equipped with the right mindset how the heck are you going to deal with that most people will just cave and, and just go back to their comfort zone the thing that's easy Right. So there's a, there's a lot of things there. Right. And, and what I just also talked about, that was, that's one of the categories, right? Stage three, revamping and constantly upgrading and transforming your mindset. And there's two parts of that mindset. <clears throat> Going back to hell after winning. Is that a book? But um, I, I apologize that we didn't get to the charts today, chat. But I, I think we had a really good conversation anyway. And we got a really good session on Thursday. We're going to revisit um, Nick's stuff. If you guys missed last Thursday's session in the Discord, that was a really good one. We're going to continue that. Um, and then um, Friday, we got one too. And then from there, that th Thursday and Friday are going to be the last sessions for the next week or so. And then we'll come back and hit it hard after Thanksgiving. But I hope you guys got value from today's call. Um, if you guys got value from this, or if you learned something, um, drop, a, drop a, a fire emoji in the chat. Let's see those fire emojis. Drop some hard emojis. Hopefully, you guys found some value in, in, in my rant today. And sometimes I get into these rants every, every so often and, and I get off track and, you know, it is what it is. We have, we always have time for the chart. The charts aren't going anywhere. Charts were here before we were born and they're going to be here after we're dead. So they're not going anywhere. There's Lukey boy. Emma, Emma calls him Lukey boy. She's always, good night, Lukey boy. <laughs> the charts are always there. Does anybody have any questions um, about anything that we talked about today or, you know, anything in general? Um, we'll hang out for like another 10 minutes or so. Um, and if you haven't checked the crypto section in the Discord, you might want to do that. I, we, Luke and I just dropped something in there as well. Um, now that I saw his pumping his heart emojis, made me remind it. You guys know that anytime that we make an investment or make a play, right? We, we let you guys all know in on what we're doing. And we dropped that today in the Discord crypto section. Um, and again, it's not financial advice or recommendations, but we let you guys know exactly what we're doing, what we did. Um, and if you choose to follow along, you have that option at your own risk. So we dropped something in today on a play we just made last night. Um, if y'all want to get tuned into that. Luke's laughing. Can't find the fire emoji. Heart emojis is good too. If you can drop the one on the side too, like that. All right. So we'll hang out for like another five or so minutes. Um, answer any questions um it can be retaining to what we just talked about on this call it can be about anything in general in in the group and in, in trading or you know if you have something you want to ask me um you know i'm an open book and i, I always am very transparent so if you have any questions about anything um ask them now um and we'll hang out for 
like I said, another eight or five to eight minutes, and then we'll end this call at 10 past. This might be the first call that we've actually been on time chat in probably the last six months. <laughs> These things usually run 90 minutes plus. Um, Chris, write EFXU in the chat and tag Joe Amara or Bogdan or Andres just because the chat's going so fast and that way we'll be notified on it. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we talk about them there too. Uh, talk about them too. I mean, I, I can share this one. Um, the one we just did was... Um, we, we just got involved in Angry Apes. So Angry Apes is very similar to the Bored Apes and the Mutant Apes. These are NFTs. Um, they were re released last week. Um, there's 8,888 minted. Um, every single one is unique. There's no duplicates. Um, the, the, the floor price as of right now is like roughly 500. And just to give you some perspective, the floor price for the board apes that were released in May of this year, the floor price is now $190,000, $200,000, ranging up into the millions. So this is kind of like the third addition to it. mastery by robert green um i don't think i have i don't think i have i don't think i have so michael you should be doing that probably every single month after you finish the sample size so if you look at the flow chart snapshot or if you took one you can go back to the recording on this call um, when i posted it Right. So you have a process, right? It, it's a start here. It's consume educational material and then take action. And when you take action, this is when you insert uh, your approach based on what stage you're in. Right. So if you're a stage one trader, ground floor, there's a certain approach that you should be taking to when you take action. Right. Right. You're not focusing on managing trades. You're not, you know, you're, you're focusing on certain things. Right. And you're recording everything. You're recording your journal data your snapshots and your market bio feedback. Then at the end of the month or sample size, that's when you back test the, the trade journal that's available for you in the group. And that journal is you know specific to our strategy. We had that custom made. Um, no other group has that. It won't work for other communities or other strategies. It's, spe it's specific for ours. Um, and then you're back testing that information and then you're using a SWOT analysis at that point. And that's just kind of like a, it's kind of giving you like a summary and you're extracting strengths and weaknesses from the data that you just collected. And then those things that you're extracting or identifying on your SWOT analysis after that sample size, that's when you go in and you apply those changes to your trade plan. And then you rinse and repeat for the new month sample size and you circle back on the flow chart to the take action. And then depending on what stage you're in after you, do your SWOT analysis. The next thing is determine your stage. So stage two, stage one, you go this way and follow those steps. Stage three is those steps. He's the guy that wrote The 48 Laws of Power. So that is a really good book too. I have that one too. I, I knew the name sounded familiar. Um, really, really good book. Big book. A lot of different things, um, but this is another really good book too. Um, this is another really good book too. This was a, I, I love this book. If you uh, want to add this, again, it's a big one. It's like a freaking dictionary, but this is another good one. I got a bunch of really good ones. Um, I can give you one more good one. Um, let me see. I'll give you two. I'll give you two. These two books will also change your life. Okay, first one. Most people are probably familiar with this one. This is all about the law of attraction. It's a pretty good book. 
Really good book. And then this one is an amazing book. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Really, really good book. That's him in the background if you can't see it. This guy came from, he defied the odds and became a, a, a seal and just accomplished a ton of crazy stuff. But those are some, these, these four books, really good start to work on your mindset. Your winning success, seven figure mindset. Trading and if you're, if you're looking for trading mindset stuff, um, we have a lot of good stuff. And then trading in the zone is a good start by Mark Douglas. I can't wait to read that one too. Yeah, those are good ones. I got a whole bookshelf. I can I can give you guys more, but Can't Hurt Me was amazing. Yeah, it was a really good book. Really, really good book. I, I really like his, uh, I really like listening to his um, like podcast with him in it and uh, really good stuff. His childhood was a, like an absolute nightmare and he just, he crushes it now. Like he he's the definition of like relentless and, and discipline. Like he's just a beast. Yeah, David Goggins is a cleaner. I agree with that for sure. On part three, vid going to watch later today. Nice. Another good one is 177, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class. I haven't heard of that one, but I'll, I'll check it out. I'm always down to uh, Katie. Katie bangs out books too. Like she, she probably reads maybe like five minimum books every single month. So I'll tell her about that. She's got the Kindle, like the little digital thing. So she just bangs out books. It's, it's, it's really like fascinating. It makes me jealous of how much she reads. She's a beast. All right, so we're almost at 10 past. Any other questions before we call it? Looks like we're... Do you have classes on how to set things up? Yeah, I mean, that, that's literally what EFX is. Um, if you guys read the caption to this, um, type level, if you want us to reach out if you want to have a conversation with us like everything that i talked about today like that's what we do like that's what we've been I, i've been educating on this stuff for years some of the people in this group have been with me for almost three years um that that's what we do right so if, if you want to have a conversation with us to see how we can help you um you know or, or just see if you if you vibe with us and what we do um you know, we, we have two different programs. We have a private community. Um, and, and then we have another more intimate setting, um, more accountability and, and, and whatnot. But we talk about these things in both. Um, live trainings like this, weekly, the whole night. So if, if you want to have a conversation about that stuff, because we have a, a ton of free stuff in this group, but we do offer paid services as well. But our priority first is building trust and equity with people. That's why I'm here in this group. Um, but if you want to have a conversation with us, type level up in the chat and we'll, we'll reach out to you. Somebody from our team will reach out to you. Um, we have trading advisors on our team that you can have a conversation with. You can have a conversation with Joe Bogdan, um, who are co-founders of EFX with myself um, and, and one of us will get in touch with you and have a conversation. So just type level up in the chat and, and we'll see that and reach out to you. <clears throat> Danny, what was the other book with Can't Hurt Me? Um, the Secret. It's like um, all like, it, it, it's kind of like, it's. I guess it is mindset stuff. Um, it's, some really good exercise. This was like Katie's first book that she first like self-development book that like gave her like a crazy shift. And, and there's like exercises in here and she would, there's journaling involved. And um, a lot of it is the law of attraction. It's all based around the law of attraction, but this is a really good like starter self-help, like mindset development book that I would, um, you, you can't go wrong with the secret. This is like a, this is kind of like a classic 
and all that stuff. I mean, you could probably get the eBooks on all of those on Amazon for like maybe like a couple bucks. And those hard copies, I probably paid like 10 bucks or less for all of those or for each one individually. They're, they're all fairly cheap, but. The magic. Yeah, there, there's the author. Rhonda Bryan. One word changes everything. Yeah, so it's, it's a really good book, really powerful book. It, and it's a good way to like start your day with a lot of these exercises too. Like, you know, count your blessings and, and what you're, you're like right out. I, I do a lot of that stuff, like on a daily basis, still stuff that I got from this book. Like every day, I'll kind of show you if this is the right one. Where's the other journal? There's like different exercises that you can do. Um, like for example, like every day, like I'll write out, um, I'll make two lists, like long and short-term goals. And then I write them out. Um, so I'm visualizing them. And then I also make a list every day of things I'm grateful for. That's how I start my day along with other things. But a lot of that stuff's talked about in here. Really good book. And it can definitely help you develop some good success habits for sure. All right. So we are, we went a little slightly over. Um, Audible is my jam for sure. For sure. Ebooks are awesome. Um, yeah. So we're going to call it there. So I don't see any of the questions. Hope you guys enjoyed today's call. Um, hope you guys got some value from it. We talked about a lot of good stuff. Um, again, if you're interested in, in seeing what we're about and what we can do to help you, um, that, that's primarily what that conversation starts with, identifying what your goals are, what your desired situation looks like, and how we can help you get to current to desired situation um, and, and see if you know we can help you there. So if, if you want to do that, drop a level up in the chat. We'll reach out to you. Other than that, everybody else, see you inside the Discord Thursday, 12 p.m. Then we have our Friday session. Those will be the last two sessions of this week. Then we're taking the following week off for the Thanksgiving and all that stuff, family flying down here um, and, and all that stuff. So if I don't see you or talk to you until then, hope you guys have a great holiday. Otherwise, I will see you in the Discord. And that's it. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you all soon. Take care.